everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here then hey if you're not hey that was awkward anyway thanks for tuning into my channel and if you clicked this video then obviously i'm just going to tell you the process and what it's like to actually apply um to study abroad um in i'm not going to say south korea i'm just going to say yonsei because it's sorry this is specifically for those who want to study at Yonsei University and are also from the UK because I honestly feel that the process would be a lot similar for those in the UK. Cannot say for the US because obviously I'm not American so I have no idea. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. <coughs> Sorry if I do cough throughout this video and if I drink some tea it's just because the air quality right now in Korea is really really bad and so my throat is just absolutely dire. <laughs> Before I get into this video, I just want to, like, I do apologise, I did tr say that I'm going to try and film a lot whilst being in here, and literally, like, the whole first semester is basically over. I do have a month left, and I'm trying my best to film a lot more. Um, I'm definitely going to do Vlogmas, like, that is something I promised myself to do, because I might as well, right? I might as well. Um, but no, literally, a lot of things have gone on, if you don't know. Um, I broke up with my boyfriend a month ago getting into here and so that just took its toll. Obviously like it fueled my depression so I just went for like a long like period and like stage where I just didn't want to talk to anybody, I didn't do anything. Um, I already posted on the social media, I don't really use my Snapchat anymore, I just didn't do anything. And then I was really really ill, like at one point I lost my voice, I've lost my voice like twice since being here. So I was like, I film then. And then it's just so many different things going on at once and so and plus like we had midterms like i just couldn't film i just i just didn't have the energy and the time like i just couldn't do it so if you're from the uk then the process obviously like i said before is a lot different than that of america and i know there's not a lot of videos out there especially when i was trying to apply to come to um Yonsei university it was really hard trying to like find videos just to, like help me along the way of what i actually need to do so for those of you who don't know, I studied at Durham University and so the process for Durham was that um, within the, like, the academic year, obviously we start in October, so from like, I think it was late October to mid-November, if I'm correct, I don't know, I'm going to assume this is for most like UK institutions, um, that, that that's when the application comes up comes up sorry comes out and the thing is that we have a year um, it was a year placement because obviously we don't have like semesters we do we call them terms though um but i don't know they work a lot differently than that of america so i know they do like half semester or one semester or whatever whereas i feel like most uk students come for the whole year then again i don't know i'm just speaking for durham durham really i think only offers year-long placements and because i'm a historian so I had to apply externally, but anyway, back on track, like back to the story at hand. Um, the application basically comes out in October, November. No, it comes out in October, so you have to hand it in by November. And literally, when I say it was a long and tedious process, it was such a long and tedious process. But the thing is, especially with Durham, they don't help you. So you have to do all this by yourself. The thing is with me is that I knew I wanted to go to, um, to study in Korea for like, since I was in like, six, like my first year of sixth form and I did sixth form for four years so it's been like a very long time that I knew that I wanted to study abroad so I already done all my research and everything prior to the applications coming out so when it did come out it wasn't um it wasn't really stressful for me because I already had all the information at hand I think the only thing that took the most amount of time was getting um was talking to the, my exchange coordinator for the history department and also like getting my personal statement like done but apart from that it was pretty self-explanatory but i will go through it so for the durham um application obviously you put your name date of birth like the college you're in like your, like department what you're studying and all that but you also have to choose um three institutions so right like you have your first choice second choice and your third choice obviously my universe i would have chosen more like korean universities but i know from my year they only offered you on the whereas i know and then I, I know they had like Korea University for business students, but I know next year or this academic year they are like extended it to Seoul National University. Um, so yeah, I you have to choose three. So I know I chose Yonsei as my first one. I chose Hong University of Hong Kong or Hong, like a Hong Kong University. Almost sound like an idiot, but yeah, it was that one. And I chose the National University of Singapore as my third one. 
And then for each institution, you then had to write down the modules you wanted to take. And then you also had to say, like, put down the description of the modules. And I know for you, it was really like hard because to navigate the website, it didn't really make much sense to me. Um, I probably do like another video completely separate just to show how to use that website because that's just a whole different thing. I just can't go through it right now. Um, but yeah, so you basically have to search which courses would be available. So I did, to, I made basically two tables. I did one for the fall semester and the one for the spring semester. So I put the modules I want to take in the fall semester and then obviously the course description, the same with the spring semester. And then I handed that through. And I said obviously the credits that were, like, the amount of credits they were. And I know for both of them I chose KLI because obviously I'm trying to learn Korean as well. Um, and that was obviously six credits as opposed to the other ones which are three credits. But yeah, so I put that down, I did my personal statement, I got it approved by my exchange coordinator and then I just handed it in. And that was that. The problem was is that they were supposed to tell everybody by the end of December whether or not they've gotten it and the thing is that I had, no I had nothing. So I was just like, oh my god, I haven't got it. Especially because a lot of things were going on with me at university at that time. I was like, you know, oh my gosh, I'm not going to you know, I'm not going to go to Korea. I don't know what to do. Like this is so depressing. But then in January when I got back from Nigeria, I was just like, okay, I'm going to like basically find people and go to call them, I'm going to email them, I'm going to harass them for them to give me an answer of what like what's going on. But by God's grace, I actually got it. And I was like, yay, great. And what was even better is that this other girl that I knew was like, got a place at Yonse as well. She happened to be my college wife's friend. So it was nice knowing that there's another person that I knew that was going to be in the same area. And also there was another guy who got it who absolutely is amazing. Shout out to Sean, he's a lovely little man. Like, love him to it. But yeah, um, he also got a place at Beyonce. and so we kind of like made a group chat together where we would just talk about all the problems that we had just to make sure like everyone's okay and all that stuff and then like we can just help each other along the way and also I got in contact with someone else who went to Yonsei prior and tried to get him to help me along the way as well but after that I know it was around maybe March area we had to basically apply on the Yonsei website so this was the second stage. So let's say the application is in three stages. So you have the one where you apply via your home university, and then the second stage you apply on the Yonsei website. So you put like your passport, what major you that like, you want to do, what like year in, all that stuff. And I think you put a passport. No, wait a minute. Backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. So the second stage is that once you apply via your home university and they've accepted you, they then send off the recommendation to the Yonsei University and you have to wait for them to accept you. And then once they've accepted you, which they did, you then have to apply again. So there's like another third stage. Like I don't think they really reject you on the third stage. I think it's more just a formality to put all your information in, um, just so they know who you are, where you're from, what you're studying and all that stuff. So that was the third one. I know you had to like write a few answers, but I don't think it was dire or anything like that. But that was really it, yeah, and that's I think after that I I think I got my confirmation in April that I've been accepted to study. And obviously I just had to get the grades um, from my university because I know it was a minimum of two two and um, to be allowed to study abroad. And obviously I got that and lo well, behold I'm in Seoul. Um, but yeah, I think I've covered most things. Like, if there's anything else that I should put or that you want to know, just like leave your questions down below and I'll be more than happy to answer it. I, I honestly believe I've covered everything, but I might have not. So yeah, like I said, if you have any questions that you want to ask me, just put them down in, in the comment section and I will more than happily answer them as fast as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, that's really it. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was quite informative, I apologise if it's poorly done, I haven't filmed in a long time, I'm trying to get back into like the hang of everything, but yeah, thank you anyway if you've made it this far into the video, and I hope to see you soon, like I said, I'm going to be posting more, and that's me.